Asmongold's life, exactly like his surroundings, is a pile of disgusting trash with dead animals sprinkled inside and piles of used tissue paper. I, I guess I, I can probably just like say, uh, I, I kind of don't want to hide it a whole lot, is like, so I've been having problems recently. Like, uh, like I remember, remember the day that I ended my stream early? Um, so I went to the emergency room that day and because I felt like uh, uncomfortable, like a discomfort in my chest. And so they did an EKG on me and like they did all this stuff and they said that I was okay. But hasn't he talked about being stressed out for years now, by the way? Is this really something new? But my blood pressure was very high. And so uh, it was like, because I've actually been like, I've had very bad stress problems a lot. Like the point and like my, my policy is that what do I do when I'm scared? What do I do when I'm anxious? What do I do when anything? I'm, I'm upset. I'm sad. Uh, it's very simple. Well, of course you're going to be constantly stressed when you don't have a spine. Asmongold has hit absolute rock bottom. Listen, when you make a video and you're so afraid to actually give your opinion on something and, you, and your response, your take on someone being a PDF file and taking inappropriate pictures of young younglings is well some people don't agree with this and you can't even call that out as bad because you're afraid that someone on twitter is gonna say how dare you not be an ally to these degenerates you have hit rock bottom you you have absolutely no morality and you're trash that's it kind of end of story honestly simple i fucking ignore it and i keep going no matter what which is also extremely stupid but I was worried that it was I, I, it, that it's killing me, and I'm concerned that it might be, and so I've had to dial back a lot of the stress. Oh wow! And so uh, I've had to. By the way, I also just want to laugh about the fact that he has a lot of stress in his life. He's a literal multi-billionaire, mi not billionaire, millionaire, who has like three or what companies in. Each where he probably doesn't do anything, except probably OTK, he actually is making some decisions and whatnot. But he's pretty much not even working at those companies, okay? The the Starforge PCs, when he enters the building, everyone's like, Oh god, Asmongold's here again, let's, let's pretend that everything's cool and he's fine, so he goes away faster. And you know, he, he goes and shakes, shakes, shakes hands and he's like, Oh... Uh, hi, and you're like, ah, oh, this is disgusting. Why am I even touching your hand, you decrepit, you decrepit chicken-looking pigeon? Dude, listen, when, when that is your life, how, how can you even be stressed? You're at rock bottom. There's nothing's gonna change. You're a de you're an absolute degenerate, and now you're what crying on the internet for pity that things need to change. Otherwise, you're gonna feel bad, bro. When, when your only goal and thing that gives you joy in life is being a streamer, so people adore you, and these people are slowly but surely running out because they're understanding that, wait a minute, this guy hasn't formed a, a single opinion in the past decade? Well, it's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna work great. Deal with this, and like, my blood pressure was in like the 170s. It was really, really bad because of how stressed out I've been. And, um... So that's why I haven't been streaming as much for like a number of days. One day, 70. So, so I. But streaming is what keeps you going. So you can't actually just, you know, abandon that. What, what is he going to do? He has no friends. He doesn't have anyone. Okay. He, he had some friends before he started OTK and whatnot. But the moment you start a business with your friends, you're no longer friends. That's just how, uh, how things work out. You're their boss. I just had a, a nosebleed. Maybe it's going to take a year or two or whatever. But at some point, you're no longer friends. And it's just a work relationship. It's unavoidable. And so I thought to myself, oh my god. Because that's an indicator of, uh, of a stroke or like a heart attack. And so that's why I went downstairs. A nosebleed? A nosebleed can be an indicator of literally 100 billion things. To take my blood pressure in to make sure. And by the way, imagine how, by the way, hard it is to... To a certain degree to actually be Asmongold. You have created this echo chamber where, where you know everything about literally all the topics in the world that you have never even heard exist before. 
and people are constantly just calling you out for saying dumb crap. Like, for example, oh, a nosebleed is an indicator for that. Yeah, from the way that you're saying it, you're saying, it, hey, if a nosebleed happens, you're going to have a heart attack any second now. That's not true. Nosebleeds happen from a variety of things. Most common nosebleed, by the way, is just a random nosebleed that happens because uh, your uh, blood arteries are a little bit fucked up or whatever in the nose. That's the most common nosebleed. It's not even close to these things. Sure that I was okay. Uh, and I checked my nose and I found it was actually, I was just picking at my nose the wrong way. And uh, it seems like I'm fine. Also, also, yes, death. Those two things are kind of actually very, very close, uh, close uh, to one another. But yeah, you see what I mean? Uh, so uh, that's the reason why. Um, and I, I've been exercising every day now. Wow. And I've changed what I was eating too. Wow. Uh, already. And I'm probably going to have to schedule an appointment with my doctor about this to make sure that I'm wow. okay. Um, cause it was really weird that I had like that. By the way, this is also the stupidest thing ever. You go to an ER, they do a scan on you and they say, wait a minute, you're technically healthy. And then you're like, mm, yes, this is all from mental damages and stress. And you're like, okay, now I'm going to be less stressed because I, I eat different food and exercise. Well, exercise does help for the mental state of people. That is true. Oh, but let's let, let's be real. Do you think he's gonna keep it up? My my bet is gonna be no. And changing the way you eat. Okay, listen. If you're literally surviving off of McDonald's for for all of your life, I'm honestly surprised you're still around. But you know, <laughs> there's, it's not gonna change a lot. Okay. Feeling um, that's heart attack level. Yeah, it is. But I just I just checked it. It's not anywhere near that. Um, it's like one thirty five. You, you see what I mean? That's heart attack level. Yes, no, but I actually checked that it. it's not. How do you answer yes and no so consistently in the same goddamn sentence? Fence sitting. Which is like, that's not great, but it's not also. I mean, he is a competitive fence sitter at this point. Woo wee. So, uh, you know, like, like worrisome. Right, 135 is still high. Uh, panic attack, yeah, cardio will help for this. Yeah, and that's exactly what I've been doing. And so that's the reason actually why I've been, uh, I've been... Go in detail. Tell us exactly what have you been doing. Have you, have you been farting like three times a day and that, that counts as cardio or whatever? Or have you been doing something else? Doing shorter streams. Uh, I don't really want to talk about it a lot. Um, just give me a second. My dad's calling me. Hello? Hey. Yeah. Can can you wait? Can you just can you just let me do this? Like I'm I'm like. I'll talk to you later. I I, I don't uh, no, like to talk about up. that kind of stuff because it just uh, I think it invites a lot of like parasocial stuff. But you know, since I've had to end stream early a few days and like it's still fuck. What do you mean invites parasocial stuff? Everyone knows everything about your life. Everything about his life at this point. He he has he has pretty much shared everything. Well, pat a social bad and then don't tell everyone everything about your life. Fucking with my head, like I uh. Oh God. Oh uh, Jesus. God. Um. Oh, yeah. Jesus. And so that that's really it. You start eating healthier, it's catching up. To no, 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 no. But understand, there's millions, billions of people who are suffering from stress and whatnot. Bad things happening in your life, but. The multi-millionaire Asmigal has it so much harder than everyone else. You need to understand. You, you need to give him some credit here. He obviously has everything so much harder than everyone else, and he needs your pity. Okay, he 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 needs that tap on the back, boys. See, bro, I think it's honestly stress more than anything else. Like it, it's uh, it's it's really just stress, and it's a lack of exercise. And so I'm going to exercise and stress out uh, and try to be stressed out less uh like because it was weird that stress is insidious killer i know could be hypertension it is yeah and so uh that that's been the position that i've been in and uh yeah okay. I, i've been trying to just be on and you know stream as much as i can and everything and uh you know say listen you know why this will never work out you know why nothing will change dark 
started the sentence the, uh, the opposite way around. Das uh, Dasmund Gold. Asmund Gold is literally the definition of what is considered the dark empath. Okay? The only thing he cares in life is the adoration of other people. There is nothing. He he will not last without streaming because he needs to feel adored by other people. And obviously he's not going to get that in real life. Hell no. Nah. Okay. Well, he could surround him by, uh, with a bunch of yes men. That's pretty easy. By the way, I'm up for what higher has been called. I will, I will not suck on your toes, but you know, I, I will say good things. You know, I'm really good at that. Okay. But yeah, he he's the literal dictionary definition of what a dark campad is, and he he won't stop streaming. There is no way he stops streaming because that's the only thing he pretty much cares about in life. One of, one great example of this is when Asmongold talks about vices and things like that when he tries to put himself on a pedestal and say, "Oh, I don't care about drinking because it's bad. I don't I don't smoke or whatever. I am not confined by these vices or whatever crap." Uh, he has said this so many times, I think I have heard over the years. And it's pathetic because these things completely don't matter. Because vices are not uh, are not equivalent for all uh, all people, okay? Some people don't want to drink, so not drinking for them is easy, and that's not a vice. A vice is something that you want to do that's going to be potentially bad for you. So he com he completely just falls into his own pit trap, and he doesn't understand it, but he's just trying to put himself on a pedestal. Oh, these things that typically harm people, I, I don't do them. Yeah, because you literally don't give a shit about them. You, what is important for him is completely different. Was what is important for the average person? Hey, fuck it. It's it's fine, but uh, I I don't want to I don't want to kill myself, right? Which is weird, right? Because like I've tried very hard. How is that to, weird? To like kind of move away from like being afraid of like dying and and like all that stuff. But man. That day, I realized that, like, holy fuck, like... Uh, yes, considering the most important thing in the universe for Asmongold is Asmongold, yeah, he, he... The fear of death is very palpable, because without him, nothing matters. I was scared, man. I really was. And so, uh... I ordered protein bars, and, you know, we're drinking water now uh, in between soda. And uh, we're, we've got to make some. We've got to make some improvements. Uh, that's it. And so, hey, his teeth already rotted out. That's my. I mean, soda's not really going to make it that much worse. Well, soda is bad for you, especially drinking it all the time instead of water. But you know, at this point, who cares? His parents didn't care when they uh, let his teeth rot out. And by the way, that's a story he himself says. His parents were literally, his teeth are rotting out. He doesn't, he doesn't brush his teeth. And his parents were like, meh, who cares? <laughs> Great stuff. So, uh, that, that's where we're at. Okay. Uh, that, that's pretty much about it. So I, I don't want to talk about it a whole lot more and, or anything like that. It, it, it's, it's, why do I have a feeling you're going to talk about it a lot more? Whatever. Open a Gatorade. I actually did get Gatorade. I got Gatorade as well. Yep. There we go. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to change my diet and eat a little bit differently uh, because I, I don't want to have to go on medication. Um, mm. uh, I think that the first thing, you know, people people that what go medication? on medication die, uh, in my opinion. Like, I, I think that, like, there's all these times, like, I, I know people that are, like, younger than me and they have five different medications. That's terrifying. Absolutely. That's called your average millennial. Absolutely fucking terrifying. And so I want to do whatever I can to, like, be able to, like, uh, you know, overcome it. Uh, physically, myself, I, I think that the human body is is made to last. It's made to uh, endure, and I'm 34, right? And so that is such an absolutely crazy, incorrect way of looking at things. Yeah, the human body is meant to endure. When when children are born, they, they their heads haven't been fully solidified in case they actually fell and hit them. So no damages, well, not a lot of damages at least being done to their brains. Yeah, human bodies are meant to endure, but they're not exactly meant to endure you trying you, you actively consuming all of the worst things and doing the worst things possible for it. It's a miracle he has survived this long, honestly. At this point. 
So like it, it's going to be a while, right? Uh, you know, I've been alive for a while and a lot of my friends have already had a lot of issues. And so, um, you know, I think it's a stress and, and I've been like not getting a lot of sleep uh, in a lot of oh, days no. too with like anxiety. And so, uh, no, seriously, does anyone understand what the anxiety is? It's just being afraid that someone on the internet is going to tell you bad things or make a negative video about you. That's it. That That's his whole thing. Yeah. Pathetic. That's, uh, that, that, that's what it is. And so, uh, there you go. And, and that's why, by the way, he literally uh, bans anyone in his chat or wherever where, uh, where they disagree even with him. Oh, yeah. That's streaming stressful. I, I want to make you guys understand this. Okay. Streaming is stressful. This is the least stressful part of my day. He's such an idiot. I love streaming. I love doing it. I mean, he's not lying about it, but he, again, Asmongold is a complete moron. He He's literally dumb as bricks. He doesn't even understand that if streaming wasn't that stressful, he would not be banning people who disagree with him. He would not be calling out people. He wouldn't be doing any of that. What is the magical other stress of someone who is playing video games effectively eight hours a day or however long he streams? Okay, you you just need to watch him play a video game and understand that that is all of the cause. Uh, that's all of the cause of his stress. Okay, go on his channel, find him play any game, and then you, you you know what you're gonna instantaneously see. You're gonna instantaneously see him starting to make excuses about oh this was not bad but i wanted to do this he needs to make excuse for everything and anything the moment something doesn't happen right and that obviously causes stress he's just too dumb to understand this ironically the thing that the, the only thing that matters in his life streaming is also the main literally probably the only reason he has stress it's not your fault it has nothing to do with the stream obviously chatters can be annoying of course, of course. But that's not the real reason, okay, guys? Mm -hmm. It's really not. I wish it was the reason because mm -hmm. it would make it so fucking easy to solve. Mm -hmm. I would just stream less. So, yeah. Uh, so good to hear that. Yeah, no, I'm I'm okay. And so I just want to let you guys know. And I've already been making improvements for a few days. And uh, I've already seen a tremendous decl decline in like those like high spike blood pressure stuff. Then why share this? And, um... You know, like going down today, like just a few minutes ago, it was lower than it pretty much ever has been. And uh, that was like in the middle of my stream, in the middle of discussing all of this stuff, right? And so I, I do think that I've already made a tremendous amount of improvement, and I hope that I keep making more improvements. Okay. And that's what I'm going to keep trying to do. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so that's that's about it. I think it's sugar and a soda. Yeah, I, I probably, I, I really don't want to have to stop drinking soda. I really love soda. But um, I probably will have to cut back on it. I will. Um, uh, at least until I can get the stress in my life down, right? It's like, how do you get to 100%, right? Bro. How do you unironically think that your stress is caused by drinking soda? How is... How? How do you think that soda is causing you this much stress? That's insane. Again, he, he's completely clueless about that and anything. I really want him to actually say what he thinks is really causing him stress. Because, like, I, I think that I can deal with, like, you know, if I was, if I didn't have any other stress factors, I feel like I'd feel fine. But I have, like, all these other things going on. And so mm -hmm. it's like, it's just, you know, too many things take you over the edge. Well, to be fair, he has OTK and OTK is literally a shitstorm. It just doesn't work. It, it's just bad. The, the, for example, the OTK games have talked about this a lot, but uh, the OTK games are view-botted. <laughs> They're view-botted as hell, by the way. And and even that is just shrinking and dying slowly. It's absolutely insane. Because if they're not you bought it, by the way, o the OTK uh, games or whatever it's called is the most popular thing <laughs> on all streaming pretty much for game shows or whatever. It is crazy, okay? Man. So, yeah, that thing's kind of collapsing and doing nothing. And, yeah, I, uh, that probably is giving him angst and stress and whatever. Because the only thing he actually tried to do himself is kind of a shit show. And no one cares about it. You can't get, uh, you can get uh, type 2 and be skinny? Oh, diabetes? No, that's not really the issue at all. What was that? Lindsay can't breathe? 
No, no, I, I, I can breathe fine. It, it's not an issue. <laughs> but I also have an issue um, with like my chest okay. where like uh, my chest is like massively caved in. And because it's like massively caved in, uh, there's an issue where it can affect. Oh, yeah, I remember hearing that. I think, yeah, I, I did hear about this, though. I never got an explanation why it's massively caved in your heart wall. And so I might have to have surgery for that. Uh, I don't know if that's something that I'm going to have to do like now, uh, but you know, at a certain point, I mean, it's definitely going to happen at some point point, probably in my life. I will have to do that. Uh, holy shit. Yeah, no, they literally like fucking move your arm. Yeah. Pexus excavate them or excavate them or something like that. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Can you breathe? I can. And, uh, you know, I went for a walk yesterday. I walked like maybe a mile or something like that. And like, I don't know, I'd say it's like 10, 15 minutes. So like a pretty a whole whopping mile, boys. Jesus. Pretty fast walk. Uh fast and, walk. and at the end of it I felt totally like fine and, and good. Mm. And so is yeah. Is that the magical exercise he's doing? No, admittedly going for walks is relaxing and whatnot, but you know, so is fucking petting a cat. But that's not exactly exercise. Uh, I'll just keep doing that and uh just do another walk after actually probably probably wasn't a mile, it was like 0.7 of a mile. Point yeah, point seven. Of a mile. But uh, can we... Bro, that's a pretty big difference from an actual mile, Jesus. Cereal from it? Maybe, I don't know. Inevitable med medical stuff? I don't believe that. I mean, to be honest, uh, you know, like, I, I see myself uh, feeling sick or, uh, you know, not perfect. And I'm disgusted by it. Because uh, growing up, I never would get sick. I would never, like, have any problem. Like, I, you know, again, I was... I... Wow. Like exactly most of us except Africa. You know, I, I broke my tooth out so I could raid lead the Lich King, right? Like I've been able to just power through everything. And so if I'm if I'm not feeling good, I uh, uh it makes me very insecure, to be honest. It makes me extreme Wow. Exactly like everyone else in the world. Crazy stuff. Extremely insecure. And so uh yeah. Cause it's it's like for like for me growing up Anyway, there's a reason he looks like a, def a defective chicken wing. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.